Hello, in this video we are going to show you how you can add layers, text layers or uh, image layers. From uh, playlist section you can uh, edit the parameters for each slide. Uh, and uh, here you have a button uh, which will open the area from where you can manage the, the layers. You can add a text layer an image layer, you can uh, delete it, delete all layers, duplicate uh, layer and of course preview slider. We'll add an image layer, so uh, we'll uh, click insert into post for the desired uh, image. We want uh, a hand which will uh, click this uh, iPad button and uh, the the screen will uh, will uh, open uh, when you move a, a layer on uh, on stage you'll see that final uh, left and final top will be modified also you have here a dot uh, border this is the area of the of the slider so if you'll uh, put the the hand here it will not be visible on uh, on the slider. Uh, of course, you can uh, move the hand in the initial position. So, for example, you want to to have a move something like this, and uh, you can uh, copy the the parameters and uh, set them as initial uh, values. And uh, after that, you can uh, position the layer in the final uh, final position. We want for uh, this animation to to have a 0 0.8 duration. We want uh, a delay of uh, 1.5. After the um, this finger will uh, press the button, we want the, the hand to disappear so we'll uh, add some uh, values for uh, intermediate uh, move uh, something like this sorry uh, the um, animation will be um, one uh, second and the delay will be 0 0.5 save changes and let's preview slider so you have this uh, uh, animation for the this layer let's add a second uh, layer which will be the iPad uh, screen image. We'll just position it in the desired uh, place, somewhere in here. Okay, you can uh, give it a name. The same for the the hand. Uh, for uh, for this uh, layer, we just want a fade uh, animation. So uh, initial left and final left will be the same. Um, initial fade will be zero. We want uh, one second for uh, for the duration and uh, 2.7 uh, seconds for the delay. Save changes and uh, preview slider. So here you have uh, uh, the animation. Let's add some uh, text layers. For example, you can add a text layer here. You can uh, write text. You can choose um, 
um, a font you have a, a CSS class you have many CSS class classes defined so for example like this you can uh, position it in the desired uh, place you can edit the CSS class you can uh, add uh, your own CSS classes you have uh, uh, many options for um, for the text um, CSS and of course you can restore to the original um, version uh, if you have uh, done some modification and you don't want them anymore now uh, for this uh, text we'll make uh, a zoom uh, uh, animation so uh, no left no animation from left or top or something like this initial values will be the same as uh, uh, final values uh, initial scale will be 0 and final scale will be 1 uh, the duration will be something like 0 0.2 uh, seconds we want a delay, we want the text to appear after the um, the iPad image. You can select uh, an easing. And let's preview slider. A first animation and here you have the, the text. The delay it's uh, a little bit too much. You can have uh, 3.5, uh, and uh, let's add uh, one final uh, layer, which will be also a text layer. You can delete. You can add as many um, as many layers as you need. You can even duplicate them, uh, so on and so forth. For this um, um, second text, let's um, make the text when you write the text here, you see it will be modified here and here. Uh, you can uh, change the the layers order for example you, if you want to bring it in front you can do something like this you can uh, select a, a, a class for uh, for this text we'll do uh, an animation from uh, bottom to to here so this will be the initial position and this will be the final position so uh, left will be the same only top will be different um, let's uh, see which will be the the initial position we'll just copy the the code from here and uh, this is the final uh, position So uh, left will be the same. Uh, for this we want um, some skew. Uh, the duration will be 0 0.5 seconds and um, a delay of, of 4 uh, seconds. Let's see the, the animation. So here we have our um, um, our layers. Uh, we can um, move it this a little bit to the left. Something like this, and uh, move the 
parameter and change the parameter. Okay, let's add the um, a layer for the second uh, slide. The same, you open the uh, this area, add a text layer. Um, change the, the text position it in the right uh, area as you can see for this second slide you ha we have a zoom effect for uh, the image we have a larger image so the the slide area is defined by this uh, dot um, border. Uh, also let's change the um, text um, CSS class. We want uh, the text to to come from uh, from uh, right to left. So uh, top will be the same only for the uh, left initial level, let's say 500. Uh, let's choose uh, some skew, some large skew. Uh, duration, let's say uh, half a second uh, with no delay. You can choose a swing, uh, uh, an easing for the for this layer. Let's say uh, is out back save and the uh, preview slider here you have the the animation for the this layer let's uh, preview the the slider in front end here you have the animation for the first uh, slide the second slide and uh, the third slide with video beneath that's it